<laughs> we can easily evade them just by doing this. And keep in mind, we do have the fast running shoes, which means they're never gonna catch me. Ooh, look at that. These ones are white. Definitely a new type of mushrooms we didn't have before. The angel wing mushroom. Huh. Are you guys seeing what I'm seeing right now? Look at the amount of coins that we're getting for every single one of these mushrooms. Dude, this may be the best way to make money in Sneaky Sasquatch currently. Hello everybody and welcome back to so much shenanigans and Sneaky Sasquatch. My name is of course Constantine and we're back with a brand new day here. Uh, actually, we just woke up and I'm so ready to start exploring this latest update. And as you guys can see right now, we already have a bunch of new mushrooms that we gotta add to the collection. And since we started doing this one, you know what, I think I'm gonna focus today on trying to find all the mushrooms. And also try to make a guide for all of you guys so that you know where all the mushrooms are located and how to find them. So, we just got the Fly Agaric Mushroom. Hmm, these are looking really nice. Oh, look at this, a brand new mushroom here as well. Alright, now in the previous episode, we've actually explored the rain area, which of course allowed us to get ourselves quite a bit of mushrooms that we didn't have before. Huh. Uh, what about the newspaper? This is not saying anything, unfortunately. Alright, well, you know what? Let me just go through the campgrounds here a little bit. Let's just explore the campgrounds. And uh, see if we can find some more stuff, like more mushrooms, new mushrooms that we definitely didn't have before. Because I really, really, really want to finish collecting all these mushrooms. And hopefully get myself the TNTs there so that we can blow up those walls. Alright, nothing to the top. Oh, look at that. Mushrooms on the tree. And this is something we didn't have before. Perfect. The oyster mushrooms. Actually, I'm pretty sure we already had these. Hmm. I wonder why I did that. Anyway, let me just make my way to the large fish over here on this side because there might be some other mushrooms that we didn't have before as well. Yeah, that seems to be it. Alright, anyway, you know what? While we're at it, let me also get myself the surgeon. Why not? Come here, buddy. And the trick here is to get him as close as possible to you. And this way, you can easily just drag him in by simply clicking just a few times. All we gotta wait is for him to bite, I guess. There we go. Easy. Look at that. So easy. Alright, let me keep on going up then. And I think I'm also going to make my way to the RV area just because I haven't visited that area. And we might be able to find some crazy looking mushrooms over there. Uh, I could go ahead and look into the um, guide here. But, there we go. More food. Perfect. Thank you very much. Uh, nothing here, but we do have a banana here. And as usual, we gotta get ourselves as much food as possible. Yeah, I definitely don't see any more mushrooms over here. I don't know if there's gonna be any mushrooms in the cave. Let me just check. I mean, I did check in the previous episode, but I thought that maybe nothing spawned in uh, yesterday. But uh, yeah, it doesn't seem like anything is gonna spawn in the cave. At least not in this one. Uh, let me just check the guy for a second. I wanna make sure there are not gonna be any mushrooms, right? In the caves. So, by the looks of it... Yeah, I definitely don't see any mushrooms in case at the moment. I do see some mushrooms in the winter area, but yeah, nothing in the caves. So probably we are not going to have anything in the caves. Ooh, look at that. Uh, do we already get these? I don't even know. No, this is the, mo the moral mushroom. Yeah, I don't think we had those before. All right, well, let's keep on going then. Let me make my way to, I guess, the lake for a second here. Why not? Now, I'm curious if we're going to be able to also get to the maze. Maybe there are going to be some uh, mushrooms that only spawn over there. Hmm. All right, these ones we already have. And other than this, it doesn't like there's any more mushrooms yet that we did not collect. And if I'm not mistaken, if I go into the book here... Aha, uh -huh, so we're not getting the check mark on all these mushrooms because uh, in order to get the check mark on them, we gotta deliver them. And once we're, they're gonna be delivered, probably that's when the check mark gonna show up on the guide. Uh, so let me make my way all the way to the top then, all the way to the RV camp here. And uh, hopefully we can find some really awesome mushrooms. Uh, let me make my way all the way to the top then. 
because I know that there is like an apple tree up here and I know that there is a mushroom spawning in where the apple tree is why did this far turn off all of a sudden <laughs> that was weird I think that's the first time I see that happen all right anyway uh, so let's see any mushrooms here no so we do have this apple tree that I was talking about and the mushroom that I was looking for is this one the purple one right over here the violet webcap mushroom and I wanted to come here because this one apparently spawns in next to apple trees but unfortunately there's no uh, mushroom spawning in today yeah I think the spawn rate for these mushrooms is definitely gonna be randomized so you're not always gonna be able to get them so this is why you gotta come ahead and uh, visit these locations multiple times I guess until you're gonna eventually find them all right look at that I found some mushrooms on this tree but we already have these ones these ones as well and by the looks of it no mushrooms all the way to the back here yeah I was definitely expecting all the way to the back here to have some mushrooms but it doesn't like we do all right then well in that case uh, next up I think I'm gonna make my way to the fishermen's just because there might be some crazy looking mushrooms over there man I absolutely love it when uh, new places are being added to the game it just makes so much of a difference it changes the game a lot when these updates come out because me personally I absolutely love exploring new areas in these type of games uh, and of course since there's uh, no more story mode at least not just yet because I know that the developers are working on adding more story modes until that's gonna happen I just really love exploring new places in the game all right and look at that I knew it we have some mushrooms on the trees here and this one is something we didn't have before this is the uh, chicken of the woods mushroom <laughs> what the heck love the name all right um unfortunately we don't have this crazy looking mushroom all the way up here that we had as we first started the first episodes but that's fine and I don't see no mushroom over here either hmm interesting you know what let me just make my way in the maze then let's just see if we can find some crazy looking mushrooms over there it might be a thing or it might just not be a thing but if it's not I'm just gonna make my way to another destination by simply fast traveling maybe make my way to the town see if we can find anything in the town get some oranges while we at it and then make my way to the mountain so that we can sell those oranges as well while we also collect some uh, some more loot why not and if you guys are wondering why I don't have a house in town, it's because I just don't want to pay rent. I do have this cabinet at the marina, and from here it's really easy to get to the town. So absolutely no reason for me to spend money on grabbing... Ooh, look at this! But these ones we already have. Uh, absolutely no reason for me for paying rent for an apartment in town, right? Uh, nothing on that side. There's gonna be the ferry. We got some mushrooms over here. Ooh, and these ones are... Uh, the puff bomb mushrooms. Yeah, I think we already had these ones before, so uh, that's okay. Uh, I don't want to buy a one-way ticket. No, I'm good. Thank you very much. Yeah, all right. Never mind. Uh, no mushrooms on this side. So what I'm going to do next, uh, let me just make my way then into town. And see if we can find some more things. And I don't even know what time it is, but I think it's getting nighttime, right? Yeah, it is 8 p.m. Hopefully I can make it inside the supermarket. There we go. Awesome. We got it. At least now when we're going to make our way to the mountain, uh, we are going to have the ability to get ourselves a few coins. And we're done. And I'm not going to even bother about the cost chasing me or anything just because we're good. Don't worry about it. Look at that. Of course, they are going to try to catch me. They are going to do their best to catch me here, but... <laughs> we can easily evade them just by doing this. And keep in mind, we do have the fast running shoes, which means they're never going to catch me. And look at this. The river now on this side is fast flowing as well. And it definitely didn't fast flow before. That is really interesting. Alright, and we are back. Now, let me just eat up something real fast before we uh, head on out. Look at the loot. Love it. Here you go, buddy. Eat up this thing. Eat up the patty and a little bit of mustard. And we're good. Alright, so next up. I'm not going to even go to the left side anymore. I feel like... 
the mushrooms that I'm looking for are probably going to be either to the top of the mountain or look at that, we found them. Right over here. There we go. The witch's butter mushroom. Awesome. <laughs> Loving the name. All right, let's get rid of the oranges for 400 coins. Perfect. Thank you very much, buddy. And ultimately, uh, I think I am going to make my way all the way to the top just because... I don't know, I feel like the chandelier mushrooms are going to be somewhere all the way to the top. Alright, there we go. And we made it, but I don't see anything on this area. So what I think I'm going to do here, I think I'm going to make my way to the right side where the podium is. Because we might be able to find the mushrooms that I'm looking for somewhere on this side. Let's check. I mean, this is kind of a foresty area and hopefully it is going to have quite a bit of mushrooms. But by the looks of it, yeah, we only have the uh, witch's butter. I haven't seen anything else. Maybe around here, the racetrack. Searching for these mushrooms is definitely not going to be easy. Uh, it is going to take a little bit of time here before we're going to be able to find them. But I'm pretty sure it is doable. It just takes uh, a little bit of time. And as you guys have seen, just looking at the guide and trying to figure out where these mushrooms would actually spawn, or where the chances of these mushrooms would be. It's actually pretty easy to find their locations. Uh, I guess it just takes um, a little bit of luck. Because you are going to have to visit these locations more than once. Until they will eventually spawn in. Alright, well it doesn't look like uh, I'm lucky here today. So I think I'm just going to grab this bike and make my way all the way back through here. And as I'm going to also make my way to the sawmill because I do want to get some more mushrooms from that side as well. Uh, I am going to explore the mountain area here a little bit more with the bike to see if we can actually find anything. Now, let me also check the guide again. Let me see. Maybe I missed something. So the ones that we're looking for are going to be these ones. Uh, the images don't really tell me anything uh, other than that these ones are going to be in the uh, winter area. It doesn't really give me a hint or anything. It's not looking like it's a daytime or nighttime or anything like that. So I guess it's all about us being lucky here. Now I can of course go ahead and check for these mushrooms on this side. But uh, I, I feel like these mushrooms may not be uh, spawning in. Where there's a lot of people around. Such as of course here where this is a battleground area. And I did not want to run you over buddy. <laughs> Alright hopefully we can escape the ranger. No! That was too close. Alright we're good we're good. Never mind. Yeah definitely no more mushrooms over here. But let me just make my way to the golden fish. You guys know that whenever I'm passing around here. I'm always going to go and get myself a golden fish. Oh, you know what? Maybe I'm not getting the mushrooms because it's actually raining outside. Huh. Yeah, because whenever you're in the uh, mountains, you cannot really see the rain. So maybe that's why those mushrooms are not spawning in? Hmm. It's really weird that ever since I started playing this new update, it seems like it's raining quite a lot. In the first episode that I posted, it was completely raining. Um... And in this one, it wasn't ready before I went to sleep, but apparently as soon as I went to sleep, the rain is back again. Maybe this is like a sign that autumn is coming. <laughs> Alright, let me make my way to the summit bear then. Let's see what we got here. Now, I know for sure, as I was saying again, that there are going to be some mushrooms uh, at the sawmill that I have to pick up. Uh, I'm not talking about this one, because this one I also found at the large fish area. But I'm actually talking about, let me see, there is a location, this one. So we need the Elfin Saddle Mushroom, but this one, it's not saying anything about the rain. So maybe it's not going to spawn in because it's raining. But of course, while we're at it, I'm also going to get myself a thousand coins from the bear. Thank you very much, buddy. I absolutely love it that now we have that trash bin all the way at our house, because we can now put some trash in there and get it ready for the trash bear. And there is some wood that I'm going to have to buy, but of course I do have to come here with my pickup truck if I actually want to grab that. And nothing on this side either. And seriously? Just no mushrooms around. Alright, before I'm going to be able to cross here, of course, this guy's not going to allow me to, unless I have the hard hat on. 
Thank you very much. There we go. And it doesn't look like there's any more. Ooh! There are some mushrooms behind the building. Look at that. And unfortunately, this is not what I needed. Yeah. Because it didn't give me any message, which means there was a mushroom there, but not a new mushroom that I didn't have before. Hmm. Interesting. Uh, I am going to jump on one of my cars as soon as I'm going to go to sleep uh, the next day. But first, let me just check for more mushrooms at guess at the racetrack. Why not? And look at that. We do have a bunch of new mushrooms here. There we go. The Prince Mushroom. Awesome. And of course, the blue mushrooms. These one you're going to find during the uh, rainy days. Now, again, as I was saying, I still, I did have these before from the previous episodes. Uh, I just wanted to look and see if uh, there's going to be more here. Now, I, I should make my way to the uh, Mushroom Hunter to try to deliver the ones that we already collected. Just because, I don't know, I don't know if these are going to go bad or something's going to go wrong with them. But I feel like I want to start delivering them just so that we can start marking them down on the guides. All right, there we go. A new day has started, and thankfully, the rain is stopped. Oh, man. Finally, we can go exploring. All right, we can finally go exploring without the rain pestering us. Um, I think I'm just going to jump on a vehicle here, on a really fast vehicle, just because I want to be a little bit faster as I keep on collecting this mushroom, or at least as I keep on looking for this mushroom. Because there's no guarantee that I'm going to be able to find all the mushrooms that I want. So next up, I do want to go back here once again and see if there are any mushrooms. And an easy way to actually look for mushrooms is to uh, go ahead and check your camera. Oh, buddy, go back to this watch. Uh, let me go ahead and check my camera here. And using the camera, you can actually go ahead and look around. And look at that. There are a bunch of new mushrooms at the bottom there. Now, I don't remember if I already have those ones from the previous episode, but I am going to make my way over there just to try to grab them. Why not? Just to make sure. Because I feel like next up I have to make my way to the uh, Mushroom Hunter and try to deliver him the mushrooms that we collected so far. Yeah, you know what? It definitely looks like there's even more mushrooms spawning in when it's not raining. Alright, and we got the Chandelier Mushroom. But these ones are not the wintery one. These ones are different. So what if, what if I go now in the mountain area? Am I going to be able to find the other mushrooms that we needed before? Because of course it's not raining anymore. It's not storming here either anymore. Which means we might be able to find them. Ooh, look at that. These ones are white. Definitely a new type of mushrooms we didn't have before. The angel wing mushroom. Huh. Alright, pretty, uh, pretty easy to find. Unfortunately, I don't have any... Any more oranges for this fella, so uh, I'm gonna have to come back at him later on. Alright, there we go. So, other than those white mushrooms that we found on the mountain, unfortunately, I didn't really find anything else. But, I just wanted to come back at the uh, sawmill here, because this may be the day where we're gonna be able to grab those mushrooms that we really want. So, once again, let me give the bear here a little bit more trash food. Hopefully, we already got rid of everything. We used to have so many burgers and everything here. Alright, and let me look around. Can we please find something? I mean, I definitely don't see... Oh, what the heck? <laughs> I had no idea you can pass with the motorbike like that through here. That is definitely brand new. Now, hold on a minute. Are there going to be any of these mushrooms through the forest here? Through the uh, red tree forest? Uh, you know what? It definitely looks like there are going to be some mushrooms over here. Uh, but these ones I've already got. We've already got the Chicken of the Woods mushroom. Uh, the Angel Wing mushroom. Uh, hmm, this is strange. I did find these ones in the mountain area. But the photo here is kind of confusing. Because this is not saying anything about the mountain. Yeah, really, really strange. Uh, these ones may be on the island somewhere. But these ones, look at that. This is definitely a red forest. Apricot jelly mushrooms. These look really great. Uh, I think these are gonna be probably at the golf course area somewhere. And unfortunately, we didn't we didn't find the elephant saddle mushroom that uh, we really wanted to get. 
Man, there's just so many types of mushrooms, though, that we still have to find. Well, in that case, let me just make my way to the golf course here. And now, I, oh, hold up. I think I just noticed a mushroom on a tree. Uh, but the problem is, I already have collected this one, right? Yeah, we definitely already collected that one. So there's nothing we can do about it. I do see another mushroom on this tree, but uh, I think we already got that one. Oh, look at that. These ones over here. But again, we already got these ones as we already started the episode. Um, man, these mushrooms are not going to be easy to find. I really thought that if you just use, simply use the guides, you're not going to have that many issues trying to find these mushrooms. But uh, it doesn't like that's a thing. It looks like you're going to really have to struggle to find all these. Because again, as I was saying, although the, the guide is telling us exactly where these mushrooms are spawning in and the time of day and everything, uh, it's they're not going to be there every single time. I think they do have like a uh, spawn rate system that we are going to have to figure it out. Yep, nothing hiding all the way back here, unfortunately. By the looks of it, nothing hiding all the way up here either. Any mushrooms on this side? Um, the answer is yes, but not the one that I need. Alright, you know what? Let me just skip as I'm gonna go to sleep and then uh, come back here to see if we can find some more stuff. And we're back. Now, uh, I don't see anything on this side. And have you guys noticed how much is freaking raining in this update? Man, it feels like every single day it's raining. There's a chance of rain almost every single day. I don't get it. Why do we have so much rain? <laughs> is this even a thing or it is just a coincidence? I don't even know. But uh, ever since I started playing this latest update, I got rain almost every single day. And I have a feeling the next day, once we're going to go to sleep now, uh, we're also going to get rain. So hmm, maybe this is something brand new that has been added here. Just something to kind of resemble the fact that autumn is coming. All right. And as we make our way outside the water, unfortunately, we don't have any more mushrooms here. Hmm. All right. Well, in that case, uh, let me just make my way to the island. Let's just see if we can find some mushrooms over here. Alright, there we go. Now, I don't think uh, the mushrooms are going to spawn in on the sand, or maybe it is, I don't know. Uh, I feel like it's uh, mostly going to spawn in on the grassy area. But who knows? Uh, I'm also going to have to try to look for uh, next to trees as well, because they might be hiding. Ooh, look at that! A bunch of mushrooms here! Uh, but apparently I already got that one. Interesting. Are these things... Mushrooms? Oh, they're not. They're just flowers. There's so much uh, more vegetation added to the game that we definitely didn't have this before. It's kind of getting me a little bit confused here. I'm not quite sure exactly what I'm looking for. Alright, so I don't see no mushrooms over here. Oh, we definitely have a lot of vegetation. Look at that, so much more vegetation. Love it. This is really uh, changing the look of the game a little bit here. Ooh, wait, what? What's up with this duck here? I had no idea about this duck. Hey pal, could you help me out here? So he does want the um, dynamite. He's gonna definitely say the same thing, but what, he, what does he want to blow up? Oh, there's an entrance to a cave. What? I had no idea about this one. Hmm. Well, look at that. As we are looking for mushrooms around the world, uh, it looks like we're also unlocking things that we had no idea about before. Alright, buddy. Thank you very much for the coins. Definitely gonna keep on cleaning up the ocean whenever I have some chances. Uh, oh, what the? Who is this guy? Hey, I come here every day to check out the boat races. It sure beats swabbing the deck all day. If someone could win them all, I'd give them the hat on my hands. Wait, haven't I already win them all? Hmm, I come here every day to check out yada yada. If someone could give me... 
I mean, I, I'm pretty sure I did, right? Busy day for bull racing today. Take a look. Oh, this one is new. The river run. So unless I'm going to win the river run, because the uh, other ones apparently we did win. Yeah, so when I'm going to win the river run, apparently I'm going to be able to get myself the hat. And look at this new fella. What the heck? Well, hello there. It's a pleasure to meet you. My twin brother and I operate the ferry for the island. We take turns being captain. But to tell the truth, I could really use a day off tomorrow. If only I knew someone with a boating license that could take me my place. I got one. <laughs> Whoa, that's a neat trick. You must be some kind of boat magician. That gives me an idea. Would you like to be a substitute ferry to captain tomorrow? Well, I'll leave the ferry at the marina tomorrow morning with the keys. If you do a good job, maybe there's a reward for you. My twin will be here tomorrow if you'd like to meet him. Alright, so... Apparently I just got a job. <laughs> oh my god, this is so good. The amount of stuff that has been added with this latest update. It's really impressive. Really impressive indeed. Now, of course, I'm not going to be able to drive the marina today because uh, he said tomorrow. And unfortunately, I didn't really see any more mushrooms around here that we had to collect. So, uh, I think what I'm going to do then, let me just uh, get myself a little bit of sleep again. Alright, there we go. A brand new day has started. Now, again, it doesn't like there's any mushrooms around. Although I'm kind of 100% sure that those mushrooms that I want to find, they are going to be around here somewhere. They do have like a squiggly look to them. Right, but by the looks of it, there are absolutely no mushrooms around. Alright, well, you know what? I, I think we are going to have to keep on looking for these mushrooms later on, for now. Hey friend, I heard you're the substitute fairy captain today. That brother of mine, he'll do anything to get out of work. <laughs> Alright, so am I actually the substitute captain today? Huh. I guess these guys are waiting to go on the ferry. I actually love their car though. What the heck? What car is that? That looks really cool. Oh, hello. You must be the substitute captain. I, I'm sure you know where the ferry is, but you probably forgot it's somewhere out at the sea. Classic rookie move. Wait, what? It's somewhere out at sea? What is this supposed to mean? Am I actually supposed to jump on one of my boats to try to recover it? Oh, look at that. The ferry is right here. So, of course, nobody's driving it. Which means I could probably make my way over there and grab it. Hmm. I really thought that the um, ferry was going to be on the island there. But I feel like now, now that we know uh, that those people are waiting for us, all I got to do is just go ahead and grab it. And uh, try to collect those fillers and bring them here. Oh my god, look at this. Can I drive it? Um, how do you even drive this? Ah, there we go. You gotta click on that. <laughs> what the? I'm driving the other way around. <laughs> oh my god, this looks really awesome. Can I get on the ferry? Uh, yeah, you can. Man, but these guys have a really interesting car. This looks like a pickup truck, but a modified pickup truck. That is really cool. Next destination, Marina. <laughs> I wish I could have stayed on the island. The island was fun, but uh, I got work to do. <laughs> Man, this is just so cool. But you know what? This reminds me. I think I will have to start looking for my island. Uh, the island that we're going to be able to get for ourselves. What? A hundred coins? That is not that bad. And look at this. Apparently there is another one all the way to the top there. Alright buddy. Hop on in. This may be such a really good way to make a lot of money in the game. Just because it's really not that difficult to uh, do this mission, going back and over. I paid top dollar for a mug of canned soup. Mm, unfortunately, I don't have one. <laughs> I think I see a whale. Oh, wait, it's just a Dolly Varden. 
All right, and we are done. Now, I think this is going to be the final trip because we are also starving here. And we got to try to get ourselves a little bit of food here. Uh, not today, buddy. I'll catch the next one, I guess. Yeah, unfortunately, we are completely done here today. Uh, I would really love it if I could start looking for some more mushrooms, though. Because we haven't finished our mission with the mushrooms. We still have to find so many more mushrooms. Uh, but the problem is, I just don't really know exactly where to start looking for them. Alright, now that we have uh, eaten up a little bit, you know what? Let me jump on one of my boats. Uh, I want to try to look for some uh, more mushrooms. On the sides of the river, maybe? Alright, so there's no mushrooms over there. Don't see no mushroom over there, but I know that there is a digging hole that we gotta go through all the way to the top on this side. So let me make my way to the top here and figure out what this is all about. And the digging hole is right over... <laughs> Man, we gotta walk a lot. Right over here. There we go. We got it. This was uh, not an easy job, but we finally reached it. Now, after this one, I think I'm going to make my way to the Mushroom Hunter just because I want to start delivering the mushrooms that we collected. Uh, I know that we haven't managed to find all of them, but at least I want to get rid of the ones that we found so far. So, let me make my way once again to the Marina right over here. There we go. A brand new day has started. And let me keep on going on the river. Now, I am going to keep my eyes peeled just because I feel like there might be some mushrooms. Um... On the rock sand right here that I need to collect. Hopefully they're not because if there is, I am going to have to make my way back in order to get to it. But at the moment, I don't really see anything popping up. Now, I chose not to use the super boat anymore just because that one is a little bit too fast for these waters. Yeah, definitely no mushrooms so far. Definitely don't see no mushrooms over there either. Alright, anyway, uh, in that case, let me keep on going this way. And uh, let me also skip as I'm going to get to the Mushroom Hunter. Alright, buddy, I got your mushrooms. I mean, at least a few of them because finding all of them is not going to be an easy job. But let's just uh, at least give them the ones that we found. Well, hello there, buddy. Have you got my mushrooms for me? Uh, yes, I do. Let me rummage around in your basket there. Ah, oh, look at this. A hundred coins for all those? What? Are you guys seeing what I'm seeing right now? Look at the amount of coins that we're getting for every single one of these mushrooms. Dude, this may be the best way to make money in Sneaky Sasquatch currently. Look at this! How much am I gonna give for all that? I don't even know, but that looks like a lot. 6,000 coins? What? I'm shocked right now. That's a lot of coins. Don't spend it all in one. <laughs> hmm, you find quite a few different types of mushrooms now. You deserve a gift. I was out for a walk recently and I bumped into something amazing. Just link around. Without my glasses, I can see very well, but bam. There was. A big crate of full scented candles. Here, you can have them. These are no candles? What the heck, buddy? These are dynamites. <laughs> That's not a scented candle. You just received some dynamite. I don't like their smell very much, so I haven't even lit any of them yet. Enjoy. Are you absolutely kidding me, buddy? Hold up, and I also found another one here on the tree. That I'm gonna go ahead and give him right now. All right, and we got 400, 400 coins for this one. What the heck? Dude, this guy's going to get me rich. Are you kidding me? Hold up. Let me just check this for a second. This is absolutely incredible. So, uh, we already went past 50% with the mushrooms. Uh, we still have to find half of what we already found so far. Uh, this one is done. These two are done. Uh, we haven't managed to find any of these, unfortunately. Now, this one is the Shaggy Mane. Um, this one seems to be, to tell you the truth, somewhere in town. Because I do see a fence and I also see a light post. So yeah, probably this one's going to be somewhere in town. As for the violet webcap, this one is probably going to be somewhere next to uh, the uh, apple trees. 
This one's gonna be somewhere on the islands. This one we already have. The angel wing mushroom we already got. This one we got. Alright, this one's gonna be somewhere on the island as well. Uh, as for this one, maybe somewhere at the golf course. Alright, this one we just gave them. Again, this one is somewhere at the golf course. Uh, this one is definitely gonna be at the sawmill, but I gotta figure out where because I haven't managed to find it. Uh, we just need the shrimp mushroom though. I feel like this one is either by the lake somewhere or by the river. Yeah, this one is probably gonna be somewhere at the river because I do see these big stones around here. This one we got. Uh, the Dusky Bullet. This one is only going to be found in the forest, I guess, during the nighttime. But by the looks of it, this one is a 5-star mushroom, which means we are going to have to spend quite a bit of time before I'm going to be able to find it. This one's going to be at the museum. Uh, this is the Witch's Cauldron, which it's also a 5-star one, which probably means that it's gonna, they're going to be very rare. Alright, these ones are going to be in the winter. I haven't found them. The mountains. The fairy ring are going to be next to bushes, I guess. Alright, this one is also going to be the lobster mushroom somewhere on the island. These ones we got, these ones we got, these ones we got, and that's going to be it. Yeah, we definitely don't have that many more mushrooms to find, but we definitely have so much more work before we're going to be able to find that. But, oh boy, guys, we are getting so much money by delivering simply mushrooms to this fella. Are you kidding me? I was not expecting that. But uh, I'm definitely going to keep on doing this. And I have a feeling this is going to be the best new way to make a lot of money Sneaky Sasquatch. And I love it. Alright guys, that being said, thank you all very much for watching yet another episode of Sneaky Sasquatch. If you all enjoyed this, make sure to leave a like. If you didn't, dislike. That's fine. And if you guys are new here to the channel, go ahead and subscribe as I'm posting videos every single day. And it's also completely free. You can watch my content for free and enjoy every single second of it. And that being said guys, thank you all very much for watching. I'll see you all in the next one soon. Bye!